Greetings from Cuyahoga Falls. My name is Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. It is Saturday and we're hanging out with the UEC. Uh, well, I say it every week, but I mean it, guys. Thank you for allowing me to be here. This is Conquest. And we're on Forest Streams. Now, our Forest Stream. So this looks like, look at that, 210 for the Union Confederate Artillery. Way up front, you see these guys getting ready to go. The clock has started now, and they are right up close and personal to these Yankees. Oh, this is cool. That. Okay. Get my bearings here, dude. I'm so freaking confused. Okay. This is the battlefield for Otto and Sherrick Farm. And that's accurate because that would be over near the area where Hill counterattack, but it's kind of where they put that map is weird. So there's that battlefield for Hill, Hill's counterattack. This is Otto and Sherrick's farm. So that's about right because Burnside's bridge would be right over in that area. Or if you follow this road. Now, historically, there's a creek that runs between uh, these two houses. Are these two farms? Oh, Captain Johnson in the fan right of the 5th U.S. Cap. Here we go. Right file, follow the right one. And you can see both armies on the move. They're going to secure the closest point of contention to themselves first, I believe. Normally how they do it, we'll follow the Confederates in. As you can see, they go streaming into the woods. A nice picturesque shot. Again, all of you are, uh, excuse me, all of you are encouraged to use this footage in your own videos. That's why I don't try to run a bunch of stuff on the stream. I want you guys to be able to enjoy this and make your own content. I love to see it, so make sure to share it on the Discord as well. All right, Jumbo out in the lead of the 20th Georgia, and they're coming straight in to this first point of contention. Oh, that face. And you can see the stars directly to what is now their front. That is the Union force. Alright, first Virginia Cav also coming in to join. Well, that's just first Virginia. Captain Greasy. Thanks for how you say it. <laughs> Well, they're forming up their battle lines in the Union, really moving fast here. Coming right after those Confederate guns. Tim and the boys getting way up close and personal. And the Union has already captured point of contention C, and now Confederates cap capturing point of contention A. So the advanced gun position of the Confederates did not last long. You can see Turnlings, the 51st New York, back on the field. Here they come. Looks like Zerbero's out front or wearing uh, special tags there. And the Union will march into battle. The guys have to move fast, and so you don't see a lot of the marching that we've been accustomed to. And it's funny, <clears throat> the more competitive the matches become, the less historical they look. So, you know, I, I for one, miss the uh, slow marching a bit. But as a competitor, I completely understand what you're trying to achieve here on this map. Speed is key. and But I think if you were able to do it in formation instead of these strung out lines like this, you know, because the officers are just trying to get to their place quickly. I understand. But uh, one of the things about the uh, UEC has been their historical accuracy and I'm, I feel like I'm missing that a little bit but it could be me it is summertime so a lot of the uh, players are out and about a great turnout this weekend by the way 222 men on this server pretty sweet all right so the 50 uh, I heard Hagman's voice there he is 56 Virginia Ooh, couple Alabama here as well. There, a couple fewer Yankees on the hill. Wow. 
aggressive attack. Confederates now taking point of contention B as well. So it's two to one, and it's the fifth Cav. Captain Johnson getting his men in position to rain fire down on the Confederates, and he's got a great spot here looking at the point of contention. We've got another unit, Union regiment going down the hill. So they're aggressive here on point of contention B. Guy to my front left. That is okay, yeah, that. Pick him up. I'll make him up. And the Confederates are uh, high healing it out of here. High tailing it, I should say. <laughs> high healing it. They'd be going awful slow and kind of shaky. <laughs> All right, here's the 8th Florida. Anderson's division by name this week. That means the 8th Florida and the 8th Alabama fighting together once again. Hog in command, it appears at the moment. Company. They do like to switch it up a bit. You can see the Union going down the fence line. And the Floridians dropping that flag. Looks like the Cav have come down to join their fellow compatriots at the fence line here. All right, they got the 4th New Jersey attached to them today. <clears throat> Captain Johnson, he's got his men in a great position, but he's going to need a little bit of help if they're going to push at this spot. Floridian's not having as much cover as the Cav, and you can see it's taking its toll, and they're going to pull out of this position. Hogg likes the flank. He's looking for it, and there goes Fritz out front. Hogg must have been gunned down. Fritz getting his guys into a position of cover. And the point of contention not left completely abandoned. We do have Confederates in the tree line as well. There's 8th Alabama German Legion, part of Anderson's division. Tiberius working it as a, uh, as a scout here. Trying to get a visual on the enemy to see if his fire is effective. And the Florida regrouping now. Anderson's division. There's the 8th Alabama. And they're not going with the, not going with the Florida, so they are split up. Hog, Mr. Hog in. Hog himself getting back to the point here, back to his men, trying to find where Danny has taken him. And he's taking him around the flank. Same thing Hog would have done. And here they come, slowly creeping through the woods. Had to charge. But they got Union out in the field, and they're coming back this way. So by the time the Union get back, Fritz is going to be charging him out. And the Union is hightailing it out of here as well. Fifth cab. Oh, man. Florida delivering a devastating volley into the backs of the Union as they clear out. Oh, Hog going down again. It's his turn to do the death boogie. Company is ready. Oh. All right, First Virginia has arrived on the flank of the Florida. the second U.S. Where's the second U.S. Cavalry? Second U.S. is probably closer to And you can see the Union trying to sneak up. That's your fifth Cav. Trying to get to that point of contention. We've got more Union in the rocks here. That's 4th New Jersey. They're attached to the Cav today, and they're fighting together. But here come the Alabama. And the Florida swinging back around. Alabama, known as the Stormtroopers of the UEC, and you can see why. When they want a position, they simply take it. Johnson knows he's got a pretty good force here. He wants to take on the Alabama, and he's right on the edge of the map. Here he comes. Counterattack in effect. Here we go. Alabama getting their reloads in, but Johnson's coming with the bayonet. A superb attack by the 5th Cab. 
Johnson still alive. And unfortunately, the Florida not getting over here in time to assist the 8th Alabama. And the Virginia had their backs turned the whole time. Never even saw it. Do they even know? Yes, they do. They know they got U.S. regulars behind them. And then back to the fence line. Everybody shooting the flag, man. Here they go. And now the Virginia and the Florida. No, 56 Virginia and 1st Virginia piling in to the 5th U.S. Cav, and they're not going to be able to survive this one. Way too many Confederates coming this way. I believe that's Florida coming out of the woods as well. So you see now the Union have captured point C. They've gotten around the Confederates. This is not super difficult to do because it's just so, it's such a large map. It's so hard to hold all of these positions without being overrun. You can see it's the IVB and the 18th North Carolina. So the Tar Heels, along with the Irish, have captured point A. And now it's their turn to have a two to one advantage. 29 minutes left in the match. A good one so far, they always are. And we got a unit running this way as well. Second Delaware, those crazy Delawares, there they are. Part of the third brigade. They've got the 4th U.S. with uh, them as well, or 4th yep. somebody. And Toby trying to get a look at the enemy. You can see the smoke down there. Oh, here they come. He's going to get a good look at them now. As the Confederates come streaming across the field. A large mass of men coming this way. And they want that point of contention back. They want to take back A from the enemy. And that's Hog out front. And Hog taking them to the quick time. Getting everybody bunched up to do the most damage to the enemy. See Hogg and the Confederates trying to find the flank of the enemy. The Confederates come across the road. They found it now. Flagman running right up to the Florida and getting shot dead. Wow, that poor guy did not know where he was. Okay, here come the Alabama. And the Tar Heels kind of caught with their pants down a bit. Oh, but the third Alabama was already here. They're charging into their own men. So the third Alabama had already done the job by the time Tiberius and the eighth got there. You can see 51st New York back on the field. There's Ulti. Well, there was Ulti. <laughs> and the Serpents taking a, taking a lot of fire from the Alabama, and they have to get out of there. So the Confederates trying to take away point of contention A from the Union. And you can see a lot of Confederate movement still down by point B, but we do have some Union down here as well. That's the IVB. Sir Knight leading them in. Along the edge of the woods, we got 
More fire in the woods here. First Virginia going against second Mississippi. And you can hear the Union now engaged. We got one man from the second Mississippi wreaking havoc. Here comes Captain Nesson. And they're going to clear out the position. And as you can see, a strong Confederate presence up here, but we do have some Union still in the area, but maybe not for long. 8th Florida trying to charge him out. Not a lot to, not a lot to kill. So the Confederates just trying to find the enemy at this point in the woods, and the Union making a strong push now toward position B. They got half the Union Army over here. Let's go with them. 5th U.S. Cav. Johnson's got a large unit today. A large Blood Johnson, line. did you say? So 5th Cav really doing a great job bringing the men to the battle today. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Directly at A. Pretty far away, but he knows if he shoots in the general direction of... Oh, here comes the Irish. And second Mississippi. Captain Nesson getting murked. Hey. Yep, here they come on the road. They are right. So easy for them to sneak up. Oh, but that one soldier may have given away the whole enchilada. As the Confederates now see the Union on the road, Tiberius trying to get an eyeball on the Union. Is this 5th Cav? It is. And Johnson knows he's got no cover in that road, so they're moving out into the woods. Watch your left. And now the Confederates are engaged. 22 minutes left in the match. Yeah. Our seven South Carolinas here as well. Taking fire. Taking fire. Fire, fall back. Oh! Here Gomez telling the guys to fire and fall back. Hard to find an enemy in all this cover. You can see one just running around right in front of everybody. And the Confederates making a strong push here. Here comes the third Alabama. A lot of new inexperienced players shooting friendlies. Always hit T. To know if you're uh, killing a friendly or not, you'll only see the names of your own team. In Spectator, we can see both. It didn't used to be like that. Thank you to the uh, developers for answering my prayers on that one. And you can see there's a lot of American flags by point of contention B right now. And they're trying to take it away from the Confederates. Second Delaware, 52nd New York. That is your third brigade. Captain Frank on the field. And they've done it. They've neutralized it. Now can they take it away? Confederates going to have to come back this way. You can see the guys like to fight in larger formations, but these conquest maps really don't allow it. You're going to spend all your time running back and forth across the map. So you really just have to set somebody somewhere 
uh, defend and then kind of, you know, run back and forth between different positions. Hoping they don't get overrun. And the Virginia trying to make their way back. 56 and the first. I believe these guys are Spanish. I could totally be wrong. That sounds Spanish to me. But it could be Italian. I'm not, I'm not super good with languages. As Americans, we're taught that our language is superior, even though it's not. <laughs> it's just the language of money. So, second Delaware done their job, and they're just doing exactly what I'm talking about. Now they're on the double quick. They are walking out in slower formations. Looking good. One of the older units in the UEC. Or at least these guys are. Second Delaware is kind of new, but they uh, branched off from the old 20th New York. Speaking of 20th New York, those guys are playing Hell Let Loose, and we're doing that tomorrow, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to come over there and join the fun, please do. We'd love to have you. And now we've got more Union at point of contention A. Let's see, 18 North Carolina. They're trying to take it away. They're trying to get all three of these points of contention right now to speed up that morale drain. And Lamel Todd is pretty happy about it. As he should be. He's thinking it's over. And you can see the Confederates want to get back this wave. They got a lot of Union trying to block them. Confederates down on point of contention B right now. Trying to retake that position. You can see the whole damn Confederate army goes down there. Counterattack engaged. 256 left in the match. But the Confederates making a strong push for point of contention B right now. And First Virginia is here. That's not going to last long, but you can see the Confederates staying together as a large force. We don't want to be shooting into our own men. See the Alabama focusing on the Union in the woods. And now the Union coming in behind them. Third Brigade. And too much fire coming from the Confederates. Toby knows that his small band cannot withstand that kind of force, and they are moving out. We got more movement here. 51st New York on the flank. Can they do it? Ooh, a brutal fire coming in. Hey, there's Jimmy Neutron. Oh, I'm sorry. There's second Mississippi. With the uh, 51st New York as well. All right, well, the counterattack is disengaged. 17 minutes left in the match. The clock is ticking. The Confederates able to keep themselves in the game, although certainly not winning it at this portion. But here they go against point of contention A, and that's Preacher in the first Virginia Cav. I don't know if they got enough men here to do this or not. Kind of hiding in the woods right now. With major magic. All right, magic. You, you got me. You got me. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right, it's gonna be nice and loud. I need All right. Can you hear it? Yo, yeah. All right, on me. Two foot, you're gonna fire. 
<laughs> Preacher stepped. Follow me. Stepped into the clearing and got shot, but he was given orders as he was gunned down. All right, so the Union making a making a push on Point B, trying to hold the Confederate Army here. But you can see it's not doing much. Alabama pushing off the Second Mississippi and what's left of the 51st New York there, and they're legging it up the hill. James Ryan with his flag, and now the Confederates are taking losses. You can see that morale bleed not doing good things for the Confederate Army, and they're going to have to get back up here and take this point of contention away from the Union if they're going to have any chance in this battle right now. And you can see they're trying to do that as we speak. Third Alabama at point of contention A. They've driven off the North Carolinians. <laughs> Yep. Oh, pig. Yep. Excuse me. So the flag's going up the pole, and the Confederates going to try to have two of these points of contention now, and the Union going to do their best to stop it. They're on the flank. Here comes Johnson again. And he's here, sneaking right up and murdering that poor bastard. And they're getting flanks. 56 Virginia waiting on them to come out and show themselves. And Dan Hagman bringing the boys out and punishing the 5th Cav for that awesome flank maneuver they just did right there. So right place at the right time. You can see both sides now taking losses. 14-47 left in the match. It's a pitch battle. You can see 7th South Carolina may have just shot his own man. or No, he was shooting down somebody else. Corporal, you didn't really have to run that far in that direction. The, uh, I guess he is finding his unit. Here we go. He's found the Alabama, but the wrong one. Alabama German Legion. And they're on the move. Tiberius out front. Just all of this cover. <laughs> Just so hard to see. I heard fire at will. Don't see what they're firing at. Oh, it's the Union. This is back near their point of contention. And you can see the Confederates wanting to get out to point of contention C, but they've got to get past the enemy spawn to do it. It's a weird way to set up a map. Here comes the IVB. We got Union streaming back this way. But they are trying to make a right flank push here. 5th US. And while they wait, the Confederates are just winning on morale. Georgia, 7th South Carolina. You, you guys seen, uh, 2nd U.S. Cavalry? You can see the guys just trying to find their units. There's 8th Florida. Eh, there's some of that marching I like to see. Hard to know what the enemy is thinking on these big maps. Floridians are making their way back toward point of contention B. We'll go with them. Not actually a lot of Union in this area. 
But again, you just gotta try to anticipate where the enemy is going to be. And Hog has no way of knowing that the second U.S. Cav is up here on the corner. <laughs> so second Lieutenant Hudson said, yeah, let's get out of here. Not a lot of help in that position. All right, looks like the Union's going to push on their right flank, so here they come. We'll go with them. See if the boys in blue can push off these rebels. Quick time. Follow them up. The 14th Louisiana, 2nd Corps. On the fields. Quiet, don't look forward much. Shh. They're trying to sneak up on the enemy. Sergeant Muffin out front. And we hear gunfire. But the battlefield kind of quiet right now. 11 minutes to go in this match, and the Union going to have to make an attack. And they are doing it. Fifty first New York in the house. E. Movement is east southeast at this point. We got more men behind us. Right and we had just the right. Right phase up. Alpha. Oh, Alpha. Yeah, here they come. Whoa! Did you see that ragdoll? And it's the 8th Alabama, Tiberius coming in with the bayonet. Oh, getting killed. And the 51st New York bracing for impact. The Serpents trying their best not to get overrun here. Doing a damn fine job of it. You can see they are still alive. Here they come again. Manfred trying to get it done, but just can't do it. And the Confederates able to wipe that position. So as these Union attacks come in, if they're able to isolate them like that... Oh, now the big strong push for B. It looks like Hogg was right. Here they come. Big push by the Union on the left side. Boy, look at this game. It is a beauty. Captain Johnson, 5th Cav. Trying to come around and get on the flank. Here's Hogg and the Floridians. They're kind of spaced out. Do they know they're coming? They're going to be here any second. Here they are. 5th Cav slamming into the 8th Florida. You heard the last second command to brace. May not have been enough. Floridians in a fight for their lives. They've got great fence cover here. And the 5th Cav attack has slowed down a bit. Father John over the fence. Johnson doing it with the pistol. And Anderson's division starting to melt away. And they've done it. The Cav able to push him off and take that position. A hard fought victory for the 5th Cav. A little help from the 14th there as well. The enemy neutralizing point B. So this has been a successful attack. 18th North Carolina now here down the hill. And the Union in the general vicinity. 8th Florida being wiped. And the Confederates are going to have to come back to this spot pretty damn quick if they're going to have any chance in this match. We can see the Union with a strong position here. So they faked up the hill, ran down it, <clears throat> and now they're going to have two points of contention with less than eight minutes left in this match. So can the Confederates come back and take it in time? So second Mississippi is here, coming out of the woods. The IVB in the fourth. 18 North Carolina. So they, I think they're gonna imagine that the attack would be coming from this direction. 
That's what I would be thinking. And so far, I would be right. That is the Alabama German Legion. Hey, Nosferatu's here. And Tiberius wants to go in and attack, but he knows he can't just sacrifice his men to all those Yankees. Meanwhile, they're coming up to get in a better position. That's the IVB. The Irish approaching the 8th Alabama. And the Union have got a great fence line. I was thinking the Confederates are going to have to get to that fence in order to hold it. But if the Union's able to do it first, that could be a problem for the Confederates. You can see Antietam Creek right here. I bet you could see Burnside's Bridge, too, huh? Yeah, look at that, right there. So this part of the battlefield <clears throat> is just beside Burnside's Bridge. There's Burnside's Bridge. So this is that battlefield. Okay, so this is the Burnside Bridge battlefield. You can see the castle there. And the stone wall that the men love so much. That's where the point of contention is. Okay. So we definitely are on Hill's counterattack portion of the field. Otto and Sherrick Farm right there. We saw this earlier. This is a this is feels right. They do such a good job with this game, man. I can't praise it enough. Ulti's got the flag there. Good to have the 51st yeah, back on the field. It's been a few them. weeks. They've been focusing a lot on um, Battle Cry of Freedom, a different Civil War game. There's room in this world for both, I believe. All right, now the Union is breaking. Four minutes, 38 seconds. Even though they hold two points of contention, that is not stopping the blood flow. And they are hurting now. Now, I believe, and I don't know this to be a fact, but it would make sense that now, if the Confederates were to capture all three points, they would just win this game. But could be wrong there. Look at the bodies. Union really under a lot of fire here. Confederates are going to have to make a strong push if they want this point. And here they come. On the flank. Second Cav. And here's the 3rd Brigade, guarding against 2nd Mississippi kind of blindly running in, the 52nd and the 2nd Delaware should be able to handle this easily. It seems like they do. Oh, 2nd Mississippi is Union as well. <laughs> oh, stupid. Alright, here they come, 2nd Mississippi trying to get up on the 1st Virginia here. You can see it just scattered about on the field. And now the Confederates are breaking as well, so this gives the advantage to the Union. If they can get to that point of contention A and take it away from the Confederates, they might be able to win this game automatically. But we got a lot of Confederates up on this hill. But they're going back down. So 247 left, and point of contention A is left wide open. They've pulled the goalie. And now this is a risky move by the Confederates not guarding this position as the Union could come in and sweep the game away from them. You got some First Virginia up here. 20th George is coming this way. But they're onesie twosies and they're moving off. And this could go bad for the Confederates, although the Union is completely down on the other flank. It won't take but one flag man and a couple infantry to take this position. You see, we do have Confederates in the area. That's your first Virginia Cav, Preacher. Go, 
And the Confederates are coming back up the hill now. Alabama German Legion. They don't want to lose this point. They know it. And they are losing a lot of men trying to get back to point of contention B. South Carolina's here. And the Union strong on this road right here. It's going to be hard to get across this fence. You can see even more gunfire in this area. Alabama German Legion, 8th Florida. Anderson's division taking heavy fire. And here comes Frank. Come back and fight! Calling for the Confederates to come back and fight. Well, he doesn't want to chase them too far and run into the defensive position, so smart move. Second Mississippi. They're obliged to go after him. And they'll meet the Confederates. 8th Alabama right here on the fence line. Will the 52nd be able to come up in time to assist? Keep going, keep going. You hear him, keep going, keep going. And Jumbo and the 20th Georgia are here and they're gonna push right into the third brigade. And more Confederates flooding in, 8th Alabama. And it's a draw. Wow, I haven't seen a draw before. All right, boys, don't reset it until we get all the numbers. I want to know what makes this a draw. I don't like draws. We're Americans. We like to win or lose. We don't like draws. What a hell of a fight, though, huh? Man, look at the casualties. Approaching a thousand. Well over over a thousand casualties. Man, look at that. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, if you like that, hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Until next time, my name is Jehovah, and I will catch you later. Goodbye. <laughs>